Welcome to the Home Inspector Marketing Podcast. Because you're a home inspector looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line, you are in the right place. For additional training resources on how you can grow your home inspection business, go to microreturns.com right now. And now, here's the podcast. Hi, this is Mike Crow, and I run a home inspection business. In fact, I've run a couple of home inspection businesses. The true joy for me, though, has been helping literally thousands of home inspectors build really solid home inspection businesses as well. We can help a single man operation be able to do over $300,000 a year, maybe all the way up to $400,000 a year as a single inspector operation. Even better for me is the 80 plus companies that we have helped be able to build million dollar home inspection businesses. I would like to help you be able to do the same thing. When times are tough and you aren't booking as many inspections, what can you do about it? Mike answered a question just like this on a recent call. So I, I have this one thought process that just like drives people crazy. And, and, I, and I can tell you every aspect of the business. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions on the whole business. Uh, but I believe that uh, the number one thing that you do in any business is market. Okay, uh, The more you make the phone ring, the, the more we can charge, the more we can hire, the more we can uh, not have to be out there in the field ourselves, um, all of that. So the more the phone rings, uh, everything gets a little easier, a little better for all of us. If we want more inspections, it really does come down to marketing. Uh, and one of the things that I'm coining a new phrase, and you'll hear it probably a lot in the next five, 10 years, um, and that phrase is market through it, okay? Um, I don't care if we're in a recession. Uh, I don't care if we're in uh, the high time right now where there's 10, 20, 30 different offers and people are offering, you know, 10, 20, $30,000 more on the houses, which by the way is happening in Virginia, Missouri, Idaho, Michigan, Oregon, Texas, uh, California, um, uh, Colorado, Atlanta, South Carolina. It's happening all across the, the country. Um, and here's the good news for the guys that I'm coaching is that we are literally having our best year ever. Uh, whereas I was talking with a guy in Wisconsin, bless his heart. He was like in almost panic mode and he's going, Mike, my business is dead. I just had to let two inspectors go. Sorry, that was a little emotional for me because it always burns me a little bit when I'm trying to coach somebody, trying to help somebody. And they think they get to a certain point, and then all of a sudden they go, "Oh, I got this. I don't need any more help." <laughs> you know, you know, it's like it's like your kid uh, sometimes getting on the bicycle and and riding the bicycle, and he gets good at riding the bicycle, and he goes, "No, I got this. No problem. I can ride a motorcycle now." And he jumps on a motorcycle and takes off, and you go, "Ah, uh, it's a different animal." You know, here, you know, let's talk about that. Um, and then of course, uh, some things go go wrong. All right, so there's a couple of things that Sam said that I want to make sure that you you hear. And one of the things that, uh, Greg, that our people are doing, and they're doing really well. In fact, we have one gentleman uh, that's a, running a million-dollar company out of uh, New Mexico as well, uh, has created a, a whole, what he calls, top-of-mind campaigns. Um, and so what he's doing is every time they have an inspection, he gets the listing agent's name uh, and he starts marketing to the listing agent as well, uh, either through emails or postcards or to uh, sending them a package or whatever. Uh, and that has just been uh, dynamite uh, for a number of our guys. Uh, and most home inspectors, um, they ignore uh, the listing agent completely. They, it's almost like, who? Um, and, and honestly, I'm going to be, tell you the truth. I did it probably for the first 10 years. I, I ignored the listing agent as well. Um, and part of the reason was is because uh, in the past, uh, most of the listing agents, that's all they did was listings. They didn't do any selling. Okay. All they, the, all they did was go list houses. However, the real estate market, the real estate industry has changed some that now those listing agents, those that are really good at listing, they almost always bring somebody on to take care of the buyers underneath them. So they're getting a percentage of that. They're getting a piece of that. They're not just listing agents a lot of times anymore. Um, and even if they are just listing agents, they will refer their, their buyers to somebody uh, so that that person, uh, so they get a percentage of that close. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. My sister, uh, she's in Atlanta, Georgia. She's uh, she's one of the top real estate agents uh, with uh, Remax, 
and we were buying a house here recently and she gave us a referral to an agent here that's a buyer's agent uh, who worked with us. And um, she picked up a percentage of that whole process uh, just because of uh, her referring that agent to us. And so a lot of listing agents are doing the same thing. So, and, and here's the other side of this, when the market shifts again, and it will shift, okay? When the market shifts again, and we go into uh, not being quite, um, you know, uh, as many deals and, and being a, a seller's market and everything, uh, then the listing agents literally get even more uh, aggressive because they're usually the more veteran agents and they will actually start showing up at homes that they're listing uh, so that they can capture both sides of the transaction. So they become the listing agent and the selling agent and or they pick up some of the buyers from their listing so that they can they can go market to them as well. So sending something out to uh, the listing agents every single time could be one of the best things you could possibly do. Okay. And I'm going to tell you one simple thing what we call low cost, no cost marketing idea is that we could literally just pick up the phone and call the listing agent after the inspection and go, hey, I just uh, uh, noticed we did an inspection for uh, so-and-so and Mary was the buyer's agent. I just wanted to call to see if you had any questions on the report that I could help you with. That one phone call is going to blow their ever loving mind because Greg, no home inspector ever does that. Okay. And that's what makes our, our marketing so different is that we do things that nobody else does. And, and, and what does that cost you? A little bit of time. I guess we could say directly market to them, but I use ISN and they, I make sure that they get an email for every inspection to at least see our name. Man, I love the fact that they're getting that email. And ISN is one of the best things that you could possibly use to help track your numbers and everything else. We use it. Uh, Stan uses it. Um, uh, Chris uses it. All my top guys use it. Okay. Um, and of course, then there's Nathan's uh, next inspect, I think. And so he's working on some of that as well. ISN still way ahead of, uh, of next inspect right now with some of the marketing and the background of it. But making the phone call on top of sending that email out, uh, that becomes like a second, third, fourth touch or something like that. And that's, that's one of those things that helps move you up to top of mind. Um, the other thing, of course, is that we call it uh, the CSA, Krista, shock and all. Uh, Krista is my oldest, and she, by the way, was a licensed inspector at one point. Uh, then she ran our office. Uh, and then when I sold my coaching business, she's working with them uh, to help them uh, on that, uh, that process and everything. We created a priority package that we sent out to every new agent, and you can send it out to the listing agents as well. And inside of it, it had our three ring binder that we gave out at every inspection. It had in there some of our marketing materials. And here's a couple of trick things it had in it. It had in it a little four piece of like Russell Stover uh, chocolates in it, okay? Because I mean, food does all kinds of amazing things for marketing, okay? Uh, I think it had a bag of popcorn in it. Uh, so there was that. And then of course it had like some pens and other specialty advertising items that, uh, you know, that they can have as well uh, and working on that. The other side, of course, is um, uh, is the kind of what uh, Sam was saying. Our binder goes in that as well uh, so that they can see who we are, what we do along with that. So here's the other thing uh, that I'm betting you could do. Uh, and our office, um, when the pandemic hit, um, March last year was, was a bad month. And then uh, April was even worse. And... Uh, when March hit the first week or two, I thought, okay, see, I believed them when they said, oh, we're in lockdown for 14 days and then we'll bounce back. What a what a load of crap, okay? Uh, and here it is a year later and we're just now beginning to open up. Thank goodness I didn't listen to them too strongly on that. So about 14 days in, when I realized that this was going to be a long-term thing, uh, I brought our marketing people back in uh, and... Uh, uh, there's a young lady here by the name of Jen Starkey. She's actually sitting over here typing and everything. She's the one that moved the pad around for me. Uh, she takes such great care of me. Um, we sat down and what we did was we created, uh, we took my Big Bang marketing that we created and we moved it to online. Um, and what that means is that you, you probably, you already do Facebook, right, Greg? Yeah. All right. So let me ask you a quick question. And please keep in mind, 
Greg, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. I don't know what you're doing and what you're do not doing. So none of this is intended to hit you upside the head with a two before or, or, or to be disrespectful, okay? I just want to make sure because sometimes people come back and they go, Mike, that, of course I'm doing that, duh, <laughs> okay? And I, I just don't know, all right? Um, so how many Facebook groups are you part of that are uh, real estate related? Um, uh, but, uh, real estate related, how many Facebook groups are you part of? Uh, probably only one or two. All right. So here's what we did. We took our office routes where we used to do an office route to, uh, and currently we're, we're shooting for 400 offices per month. We have three marketing people and they walk in and out of real estate offices and, some offices stayed open, most of them closed, and now more of them are beginning to open back up. So we're really ramping up, walking in and out of the offices again. But what we did um, was we went and visited, uh, we went and got permission to be part of about a hundred different Facebook groups. Okay, so if there was a Century 21 office, they probably had a Facebook group and we asked to be part of that. Well, we're paying their connections program thing. Why can't we be part of the group, right? Uh, if there's a Keller Williams. Uh, but there were also a lot of independent groups uh, that were for real estate agents. And some were run by title companies. So I think one was run by an insurance company. And what we said was we would just like to be able to be part of the group and help support the group and, and all of this. So. What we do now, currently, I have one of our marketing people do five Facebook lives. I'm making notes here as well. Lives per day. Okay. Now, these are not advertisements. These are helpful, useful information like, um, uh, so Jackie's the name of the uh, the lady that we have doing most of them. She would say, hi, this is Jackie with Text Inspect. And recently, one of the things that I saw a top agent do uh, was... Um, uh, you know, uh, do, uh, do a walk around to the five houses that are around, uh, the different, uh, this house and one say, Hey, we have this house for sale. Um, and I want to make sure that I know who you are so I can introduce you to the buyers, uh, at some point. And, you know, if there's somebody in your household that needs to have uh, a house close to you or whatever, want to make sure you knew it was coming up for sale. And I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Or if you're looking at selling your home. And so we take those kind of little pieces of information and then we dump them out onto Facebook live. Okay. And so the agents think, oh my gosh, that is just brilliant. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. And then we always kind of finish up with, uh, by the way, uh, one of the things that we do that makes us completely unique uh, is that uh, we offer same day inspections. We have 15 plus inspectors. And so we have availability, uh, you know, almost every single day. We have a 48 hour guarantee that if we can't do your inspection within 48 hours, business days, because we take Sundays off, business days, uh, then we give you $100 off the inspection or give your clients off $100 off the inspection. One of the things right now, the agents, especially in this market, is that they need quick turnaround. Um, and so uh, we're, we're making sure that we have same day inspections available. Uh, and by the way, we're booked up solid today, okay? We have, I think, 24 inspections uh, happening today inside our company. Um, and it's because of this kind of marketing uh, that we're doing. So if you did five Facebook Lives a day um, to say, and, and by the way, um, so if you have 100 groups, you're hitting each of those groups about every 20 days, or I would like to hit each of those groups about once a week. Depending on how big the group is, uh, you can hit it more often, but if it's a small group, you want to hit it less often uh, on a Facebook group type situation. Um, whereas it's kind of interesting, if it were an office, I'd probably do, do almost the exact opposite, uh, do it with that direction and everything. You probably heard about the, the, the famous candy bowl by now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the Big Bang Marketing, what we try to do there is we walk into a real estate office, we ask them, would it be all right to set up a chocolate bowl for them? They say, yes, we put it up. Uh, and then eventually we want to do a presentation at that office. We have at least 10 plus, maybe as many as 20 different presentations. And here's what we're doing with the Facebook Lives. We're taking little snippets out of each one of those presentations and we're putting those into 
um, into these Facebook lives uh, that uh, we're doing out to the agents and everything. And then one of the things we let them know is, by the way, if you would like us to have come out to your office or if you would like to have us uh, do a, uh, a full presentation by Zoom to your office, uh, just please call such and such number. Uh, or, and what we, here's the big secret we just discovered last week. Sam, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna make sure you write this one down. The big secret Jonathan just found was he's doing uh, a call with a group of agents and he's saying, by the way, if you wanna come into our office and do a Facebook Live with me and you out to your marketplace, just put something in the chat right now with your name and phone number and I will have my people get in touch with you. And because it's, it's like a point of sale uh, thing that's happening right then and there, um, everything moves forward so much faster. And the, the, he did that the first time the other day on a call and we scheduled four uh, Facebook Live interviews with agents. And, he, and we were all sitting around the table going, why haven't we been doing this, you know, uh, between now and then? Uh, so those are some of the, the big things that we're doing right now. Uh, there's a hundred things you can do, but those are probably some of the biggest things that we're doing right now. We hope you enjoyed the podcast. And as a friendly reminder, if you're looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line as a home inspector, Go to microreturns.com right now.